I'm George Richardson, one of the owners of Richardson Farm in Spring Grove, Illinois. Uh, right now, it's springtime, we're planting Christmas trees. We have around probably 100,000 Christmas trees growing, and we've been growing Christmas trees for over 35 years. In the old days, we used to plant, oh, 1,000 trees a year, and we thought, wow, that was a lot, and now we're up to almost 10,000 every year. The whole process begins when we pick up our uh, seedlings from various nurseries over on the Michigan side, uh, Michigan State, on, on that portion of Lake Michigan. It's beautiful, sandy soil there, and so they grow uh, the seedlings like, like crazy. That's where they will originate. We buy them at around 18 inches tall, as I said, and that's a nice size to handle our soil, our climate, and to basically start its life um, on its own so to speak. We've picked up uh, 9,500 trees this year, and they're uh, a variety of species. We have a, a whole assembly, assembly crew back here. We have to trim the roots down, and then we trim the tops up. We want to find a, a proper leader. The point the top is the leader, and so we want to make sure that we have a good proper top. So occasionally the trees come out, and maybe this isn't here, and we have, we have two. So we try to make that decision for the tree now because we want things growing up, not sideways. So then the next thing we'll see out in the field there is the planter mechanism is being pulled by the tractor, and that is carving out a trench in the earth and laying it open. Wendy is going to be sitting on the jump seat, and she will be placing one tree right by her side in the trench as each each beep occurs, which gives us our proper spacing between everything. And then there's a big iron wheel behind that will help close the trench back over the root system. We like to go behind with minimum three guys with, with hand hose, and we like to rake the extra soil around them and give each tree a little stomp and pack. We want all those air bubbles out from around that root system, right around this tree and that will ensure our survivability. They're gonna average about uh, a foot a year in growth, so uh, seven or eight years from now is when people will be harvesting those. Christmas trees are wonderful for the environment. Uh, they're endorsed by Sierra Club, Nature Conservancy, and Greenpeace as being the best alternative for a Christmas tree because they're not made in a factory with plastics and wire and stuff like that. 100% recyclable, renewable, sustainable, absorb carbon dioxide, produce oxygen as they're growing. You know, what could be better than a real Christmas tree?